In addition to the never before seen footage from Martin Bashir's interviews, we have also been allowed unprecedented interviews with some of the people closest to Michael Jackson. People who have turned down very lucrative offers to tell the inside story of life behind the Neverland gates. They break their silence for the first time and not for money. No one interviewed for this show received any payment to tell their story. Their reason for appearing here is to tell the truth as they see it. And the person who has most avoided the glare of the spotlight is the person who was perhaps the closest to Michael, the woman who was his wife and the mother of his first two children, Debbie Rowe. What's happened in the past is things have been taken out of context, twisted around. If I can help straighten it out, as much as I do not speak about my family, I will. Right now. When I was talking to Prince one day, he said to me that uh, he, he didn't have a mother. He said he didn't have a mother? Yeah, I said, Prince, where's your mummy? And he said, I haven't got a mother. That's right. Did you tell him to say that? Mm. What do you think he means when he says, I haven't got a mother? I can say he didn't have a mother. My kids don't call me mom because I don't want them to. They're not, they're Michael's children. It's not that they're not my children, but I had them because I wanted him to be a father. I believe that there are people who should be parents, and he's one of them. And he is such a fabulous man and such a good friend, and he's always been there for me, always from the day I met him. I could do something for him and this is what I wanted to do. Most people think Michael and Debbie's relationship was very short term. Actually, they met over 22 years ago. Was it intense, Bam? No, no, it was over time. It was over time, I think it was 18 years, 17, 18 years. That I knew him when I, when I had Prince. In that time, they've gone on some very unusual outings, often with Michael in disguise. Yeah, he'd call, what are you doing? Nothing, what are you doing? When I go to the video, yeah. You know, I, we'd sneak out without security. We got caught. I was like, oh my God, this is like a Beatles film. We're getting chased by people. <laughs> we'd have to call security and bail us out, but yeah, we'd, we'd go out and do stuff. So you'd go out sneak, him into, and... sneak him into premieres and, and things. Um, yeah, we had a good time. We had a good time. He's always a lot of fun. When did Michael start talking about wanting to have kids? Wanting to, was this when he was still with Lisa Marie? Or? No, they had, um, they had broken up, and I was trying to console him because he was really upset, and he was upset that you know, he said he really wanted to be a dad. And I said, so be a dad. And he looked at me puzzled. And I said, let me do this. I want to do this. You've been so good to me. You're such a great friend. Please let me do this. I said, you need to be a dad. I want to do this. And he no, no, no. I nagged him into it, if you will. She's a wonderful person. Too. She she knew that Michael Jackson loves children. Yeah. And she knew that Michael Jackson wanted children. That's why. And she, she was. You need to be a daddy. Right. She said you needed to be a daddy. More than she needed to be a mother. Yeah. And she wanted to do that for me as a present. And if you're talking about romance, maybe then, if you want to have a. A marker, if, if that makes you and the rest of America feel that they need a marker, then you could probably use that. Once Debbie's pregnancy became common knowledge, the tabloid world had one burning question. Did they or didn't they? The, the, the first two crystal pairs from Debbie, which was natural conception. You, you had sex with Debbie? Yes. I know that's difficult for you, for me to say, because you're yeah, so embarrassed. Right <laughs> but you, you actually had sex with her. You can see yes, those children. Yes. From the first moment Debbie learned she was pregnant, Michael warned her of what was to come. 
He said, you don't know what they can do. And I said, oh, Michael, come on. We're having a baby. Normal people have babies. We're having a baby. Come on. I, how, can, how can that be weird? We're having a kid. That, if anything, that's beautiful. That's wonderful. That's great. Boy, was I wrong. I found out at one point a picture of me pregnant was worth half a million dollars. To who? And why? Have they never, ever seen someone pregnant before? Am I supposed to look different pregnant because it's Michael's baby than someone else? As you've heard, the decision to have Michael's child was easy for Debbie. The actual birth was another matter. And we were very excited. Michael was definitely more excited than I was. You know, he was so excited when we had a contraction. And he was there. We had videos, we had music, you know. And it was long, it was 23 hours. And I have a very colorful language. <laughs> and every time I went to say something, Michael would cut me off with, shoot, or fudge. Oh, he doesn't like cursing. Or <laughs> he didn't think it was necessary yeah. when there were other, other words would do. So, but he was there the whole time, held my hand, um, stroked my head. I think I puked once, and I was so embarrassed, and he was like, stop, you're fine. This is beautiful. This is wonderful. I said, I'm going to die. No, you're not going to die. This is great. Okay, we're crowning, you know, and Michael, yeah, he's right there. And he goes, oh, my God, this is so beautiful. Now, having come from a medical background, there is no way blood and stuff. There's no way. It's, it can't. It, sorry. I don't come from that background. It's like, Michael, it can't be that beautiful. Oh, he was welling up. And then his son was born. And the look on his face. Talk amongst yourselves. <laughs>